Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, you'll learn about the different Google Ads keyword match types you can use with your search campaigns. We'll cover broad, phrase, exact, and negative match keywords. Using these keyword match types lets you control when your ads do and do not display as people are searching on Google. They give you more precise control over your campaigns, but there are some important things to consider as you choose your match types. This updated video also covers the changes Google has made since removing broad match modified keywords. Okay, let's get started. There are three keyword match types. These are broad match, phrase match, and exact match. And we'll look at how broad, phrase, and exact match also include close variants. And finally, we'll cover negative match keywords, which improve the performance of our campaigns by preventing our ads from being displayed on particular search queries. When we add keywords, they're added as broad match by default. This match type provides the greatest coverage or reach for the keywords you're bidding on. As the name suggests, it is going to broadly match the keywords to what people are searching for on Google. So if we were bidding on chocolate gifts, our ads could appear as people search for chocolate, chocolate gifts, Cadbury gift box, chocolate gift delivery, and chocolate shop Chicago. All of these search queries broadly relate to the keyword chocolate gifts. So this is the default match type in Google Ads. The next match type is phrase match. This is where we put the keywords we're bidding on inside quote marks. This tells Google Ads that we want those words to be included in what someone is searching for, or that someone should be searching for something with the same meaning. For example, chocolate gifts in quotes can match chocolate gifts for Father's Day, chocolate hamper, and chocolate gifts. This match type will match keywords with the same meaning, and phrase match is more targeted than broad match. This means our keyword will not match Cadbury gift box because this does not have the same meaning as the phrase match keyword. Then there is exact match. This is where we place our keyword inside square brackets. This will then match the keyword exactly. So chocolate gifts in square brackets will match chocolate gifts, but not chocolate golf gifts. It matches exactly. When we use exact match, phrase match, and broad keywords, it's important to understand that these will also match close variants. This means that Google Ads will automatically match singular and plural versions of our keywords, misspellings, and other close variations of keywords. For example, if we're bidding on the exact match keyword of chocolate gifts, then our ad would be displayed for people searching for chocolate gifts, chocolate gift singular, and the misspelling of chocolate gifts. So remember, close variants will apply to your exact match, phrase, and broad keywords. And close variants will ignore function words like to and for, and when the words are reordered but retain the same meaning. Continuing our example of chocolate gifts, this exact match keyword could also mean our ads are displayed to people searching for chocolate for gifts and gifts chocolate. These are also considered close variants. Here we can see the relationship between each of the keyword match types. For the greatest reach and broadest targeting, use broad match keywords. For narrow and controlled targeting, use exact match. And for targeting that balances between the two, use phrase match. I also want to mention that there was another match type that Google removed at the start of 2021. This match type was called a broad match modifier or broad match modified keywords. This match type was more targeted than broad and provided greater reach than phrase match keywords. This keyword match type required us to add a plus sign in front of individual words within the keywords we were targeting. So if you see any plus signs when looking at the keywords in your account, these were for broad match modified keywords. Again, this match type has been removed, so you'll need to choose from broad, phrase, or exact match targeting. This brings us to our final keyword match type, negative match. Adding negative match keywords is an important part of optimizing the performance of your campaigns. It's especially important to add negative keywords if you use broad match keywords. A negative keyword prevents your ads from being displayed, which allows you to reduce the number of less relevant impressions. Here we can see we've added the negative keyword of ideas, along with the broad match keyword of chocolate gifts. 
This means that people searching for chocolate gift ideas, ideas for chocolate gifts, and gift ideas won't see our ads. You will notice that our ads are still eligible to appear when someone searches for chocolate gift idea. If you don't want your ads to show for idea singular and ideas plural, you'll have to add both of these as negative keywords in Google Ads. This is because negative keywords don't work in the same way as broad match keywords. You need to be specific with negative keywords. So they're the different match types you can use with your search campaigns in Google Ads. Remember that exact match will give you the most control, while broad match will give you the greatest reach. If you're just getting started and have a small advertising budget, then I recommend using exact match keywords. This will ensure you don't spend your budget too quickly. You can then move to phrase match if you need greater reach for your ads. And try testing different match types to see what works for your campaigns. Google Ads isn't one size fits all, so spend time in your account to see what works for you. If you want to learn more about Google Ads, then join me in my Google Ads course, where you'll learn practical skills you can apply to your own campaigns. You can find a link to join the course in the description below this video. What match types are you going to use in Google Ads? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.